The following program contains scenes of violence. Viewer discretion is advised. On Saturday night, Lucian Butte set out to erase the memories of his tainted victory in October of 2008 over Labrado Andrade. In the first fight, Butte was given an exceptionally long count to get back up after a 12th round knockout where Butte went on to win by unanimous decision. Saturday, Butte needed just under four complete rounds to stop Andrade, showing an aggressive strategy once he began landing on a consistent basis in the third round. This led to the one-sided fourth round where Butte scored an early knockout with a left reversal and the finish came courtesy of a strong left uppercut up by Butte to the midsection of Andrade that ended the fight. Butte successfully defends his IBF Super Middleweight Championship for the fourth time. The card also featured a very controversial majority draw between Juan Guzman and Ali Funica who battled for the vacant IBF Lightweight Championship. After 12 rounds, two judges scored at 114 apiece and the third judge had at 116-112 for Funica who was in disbelief after the fight over the majority draw decision in Quebec City. Thank you for being here, and um, Lucien, congratulations, man. Um, you you got me in never side. I was I was pushing it to to make you work double. Uh, you were you were choosing your chat very well. Congratulations for that, man. Uh, all I want to say is uh, I never intended to beat up nobody, but I do want to. I want to become a world champion and. To tell you the truth, honestly, I never saw Lucian's fate. Um, I'm beating him up. I just want to grab that belt and become a world champion one day. I don't see a face, but I see that dream one day coming to true. Um, I have made some changes in my camp uh, that um, I have to go back and figure it out, see if uh, they hurt me or uh, should I go back to my old ways. And, and try to, to slag it out every time instead of moving my head a little bit more. But it doesn't matter now. Lucien did a tremendous job. Uh, he had a, he, he hit me with a good shot and it was nice. So congratulations and he'll be a great champion. Uh, you guys, the people here in Quebec, you guys make wonderful fans. Um, uh, and boy, I, I, I envy those that, for example, Lucien Pute, that uh, he gets to to show his talent uh, every time in front of you guys. I have nothing but respect, but all the respect to them, to all the champions. One day, my dream is to become a world champion. I never thought I would get this far in boxing, and I do it. And it's just a way to uh, identify myself with regular people, because I was just a regular people that used to work at Jack in the Box at a fast food place that used to say every morning, welcome to Jack in the Box. And <laughs> I changed my, my, my dream. It's a very young dream. I don't see nobody's face in front of me. I just see the day that I would like to become a world champion. For that, I want to thank Sylvia, Howard, Al, Sam, and everybody that helped me so much. No easy guys. These guys are war rated, they're champions, and I'm doing my best. Bonjour tout le monde, les gens des médias, merci de vous être déplacé. David, Howard, Libretto, it was a pleasure, of course, working with you guys. Dans ma carrière d'entraîneur, La plus, grande, la plus grande personne que j'ai rencontrée qui m'a marqué le plus, c'est Eric Lucas. The, great, the greatest guy I ever met was Eric Lucas. And the second guy was Otis Grant. You know, kind of person you will remember the rest of your life. But I think the number three guy is the Brad one Bradley. The Brad one. You need a winner against those between those two persons. But I know, Librado, there is still place for you in Quebec. 
And always remember, you know, Otis Grant lost before becoming a world champion. Lucas lost three, four times before be becoming a world champion. And hopefully we won't fight you again. <laughs> <laughs> but keep believing in your dreams, uh, Libretto. You deserve it. Uh, I've been working on it for two months. And I told you, Chan, Libretto has been dropped twice with you and with Yusuf Mack, and it was never in front. It was always from the side. So we need to wait for him to come from the side. And Duchenne has been just waiting that moment. He's been dreaming of it. He's been working so hard that he just deserved it now. He deserved that moment. He's been thinking of Libretto and Ready for one year. And Libretto, thank you, because you made Duchenne Boutet Bute a better boxer right now. Thank you very much. Was your head very clear after the first knockdown you got up and uh, you put pressure uh, on uh, on Lucian were, no, were you okay or you were still he wasn't he wasn't clear that's why he hit me with a body shot <laughs> <laughs> I didn't decide um, I just put the pressure on him for him to back away but um, it wasn't clear so I didn't even see the body shot either